Hey everybody, welcome back to Ed and Heather's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a soup. It's called goulash soup. It's from one of my mother's recipes. Thanks, Ma. I've never made this before, so you're going to be making along with me. This is what we're going to be using to make the soup. And I will be putting the recipe down below, so don't worry. We're going to be using 200 grams of pork, cut up. 150 grams of beef, cut up. Use the cheapest cuts that you can find. We have two onions, chopped fairly small. You can use a green or a red bell pepper, sweet pepper. One can of peeled tomatoes. A tablespoon of butter, which I have heating up. We have a quarter tablespoon of salt. Oh, sorry, quarter teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons paprika. One quarter teaspoon pepper. And back in this bowl, we have a teaspoon of garlic, or quarter teaspoon garlic powder. And we have one pint of coffee creamer that we're going to use at the very end. So, our first step is get this butter melting. Then we're going to brown up the meat and the onions. So, there we go. I just put the pork and the beef in the same bowl because we're going to be cooking it at the same time. Get back there. Making a mess. Nothing new. Now this is a nice hearty soup. All our friends up north that are getting socked or will be getting socked. You'd appreciate this soup. Again, this is a nice German soup. It's what I call old-fashioned comfort food. Yes. Okay, we're just going to brown up this meat. When it's browned up, we'll be back and I'll show you what else we're going to do. Meat, nicely browned up. We're getting some juice in here. Good. Oh yeah, look at that. Smells good. I love the smell of cooking onions. So now, I think I forgot to mention we have a carrot. We're going to add the pepper. And tomatoes. And their juice. Now we're going to mix this in. We're going to cook this for about five minutes. Then we'll add the spices. I'm seeing some juice in here. Mm. The reason I'm saying that is I was kind of questioning if this is gonna if this needed something added, some broth or water. We'll see. Okay, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, so we're back. This is cooked for about five minutes. Look at all the nice juice in there. Oh. This smells good. Now, we have to add the paprika, salt, garlic, come yeah, on. Got it too close to the stove, it got damp. And the pepper, there we go. I'm gonna mix this in. Then we're going to slow cook this. I'm going to cover it, let it simmer until the meat's nice and tender. Oh, this is smelling good. I still say we need smell a vision. Okay, so we're just going to cover this and let it been simmer. An hour and a half. This has been cooking, cooking it down. It looks good. The meat is nice and tender. Now, let me set this over here so I don't burn myself. There we go. Turn that off. Last step is we add the creamer. Let's see if this is fully defrosted. Nope. That's okay. Let me. You get this creamer, 
in the freezer section of your grocery store. It doesn't have to be this brand, any brand. Okay, Let me turn on the heat a little bit more so it melts that, heats it up. Oh yeah, this is looking good here. Remember, like I said, we're using just cheap cuts of meat, whatever's on sale. This has been simmering for an hour, hour and a half. Let's give it a taste test here. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Let the boss try it. Something's missing. I think um, I think it just needs to uh, heat through. That's probably it. So let this heat up, heat through, and uh, and we'll serve it up. This is heated all the way through. I've given her another taste test. Yes, I did. And this is fantastic. It's a little sweet savory you can taste the vegetables mixed in there you got two different kinds of meats so, as promised serve some of this up sauce in there there we go now that just looks fantastic. And I know it tastes good because I, like I said, I already tried it. Now, once I get this served up, I'm going to get some bread and butter for with it. We're going to sit down. There we go. So, That was goulash soup. We'll be back, not sure when, but we're gonna have fun. We're gonna make some more good food.